We're here on this special day Our hearts are full of pleasure A day that brings the two of you Close together We're gathered here to celebrate A moment you'll always treasure We ask Allah to make your love Last forever Let's raise our hands and make dua Like the Prophet taught us And with one voice let's all say And so this is a good thing that we see diversity. And also, and the message I want to say is that we should embrace this diversity and we should prepare for the future, meaning the future of uh, our Islamic community here in America. Because the Islamic community in America looks like this. Our, it's a reflection of, of the attendance here, even though most of the time we don't see this gathering. So I would like to remind us that um, we need to embrace, of course, the, the new Muslims, and we need to embrace each other. So we need to understand that we are all brothers and sisters. And this is a simple message, and this is the message I want to leave with you today, just that simple message. And everyone says it, Muslims and non-Muslims, we're all brothers and sisters. So if we truly understand this simple message in Islam, then I think it will solve a lot of problems. Again, just this one thing I want you to think about today. We're all brothers and sisters. We say it all the time. And of course, when people accept uh, Islam and, and, and say the Shahada, we always say, you know, takbir, we welcome them and hug them and say, you're part of the family. So today I want us to just question ourselves. Are we truly embracing people? Are our weddings open for everyone? Are our houses open for everyone? And are we uh, embracing the greater community? And if we did this one thing, things would change literally overnight. The way urban sees this masjid, this big building would change if we understood that we are brothers and sisters and if we start to truly understand our obligation of serving humanity. So uh, again, I'm so happy to be here and I'm so happy to be part of this wedding and this is a unique wedding and I hope this is the type of wedding that we begin to see over and over in Irving, over and over in Richardson, and all throughout America. And if we do this simple thing, 
embrace everyone. Understand that we are brothers and sisters. Then the Muslim future is great. The Muslim future is great. So I say, Barakallahu Fikum. May, may Allah put uh, Baraka in your wedding and, and allow it to flourish. And we ask Allah to make you great members of this society. And again, I thank you for your attendance. And I leave you with one other thing. And that is, I, I ask everyone to make a commitment. This is the last point. I hope I'm not taking too much time. But the last point is we mentioned I want everyone to understand that we're brothers and sisters and the last point that means we need to do some action so the action item today is I or we need to change because we hear messages all the time but we need to change so the next time we have a wedding we make it a point to invite other people the next time we have a dinner we make it a point to invite someone else outside of our ethnicity uh, can we all do that inshallah so we're going to really embrace this uh, uh, this this diversity. So also, I want to tell you, we had an Ansar meeting, meaning where, and Ahmed can tell you more about this uh, later on, where we pair people up with the new Muslim. There is only, it's very poor attendance, especially from the brothers. Uh, there's only a handful of people, and this is a mega masjid. We should have a mega crowd, and we say we're brothers and sisters. We say we love the new Muslim. We say all of this, so now we need to act. So today, I encourage everyone to help to sign your name with Brother Ahmed and Sister Delhi. Say, hey, I listened to what Brother Johnson say, said, and I'm a volunteer. Yes, you're my brother. Yes, you're my sister. Write down my name. This is my email, and I'm going to be an Ansar. Oh, I'm going to do whatever you need. Next time you have a gathering, then I will help out with something. So I need everyone today to commit to be a volunteer, to do something. We're brothers and sisters, so let's act like it, and let's help the new Muslims and help each other, Jazakumullah khair. I'm sorry I took up too much of your time. <laughs> Wonderful brothers are here. They just get married as well. Very new with them, alhamdulillah. Sister Amina just from, uh, moved from Sweden, all the way from Europe. So we'd like her to stand up because she needs some more sisters to know her, inshallah, and uh, welcome her to the community. She needs a lot of sisters, a lot of uh, phone numbers. So please welcome her. And she is another brother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. This is a, it's a wonderful gathering. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the wonderful couple and the newborn children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all our youth amongst the righteous, pious, believing Muslims that they will grow to be the leaders of this nation. The ones who will make change, the one who will reunite the Muslim Ummah into good for the society. Kul I mean. I mean. So Jazakallah Khair, thank you very much for allowing me uh, to basically um, just use this platform to invite uh, the Latino Muslims. As we know, alhamdulillah, um, Islam is a way of living for many people. I myself, I was born and raised in Brazil. My wife was uh, born and raised in Honduras. Um, and Islam, for many people in the beginning, may seem something very strange. And as you can see, Islam is all different shades and colors. And this is the beauty of Islam. So the purpose of the program that we have, it's called the Latino Muslim Program. Now, it's not specifically for let's say Latinos, everybody is welcome, but being that we live in a community where uh, it's predominantly Hispanic and Latino, we're seeing a high number of people within that demographic that are accepting Islam. So the intent of the program uh, is basically to have a night of motivation to reunite this particular uh, demographic, uh, especially because everybody's kind of just spurred all over the area. And we want to basically invite everybody. The date is supposed to be the 3rd of March, which is the first weekend of March. And uh, we may have our brother uh, Abdullah Dani. He is a brother who is originally from Puerto Rico. And uh, he had the blessing to study in Al Azhar University, which is in Egypt. And he is a brother who is very active in the, in the Houston community. He's actually from my community up in New Jersey, Union City, New Jersey. So we want to basically just invite everybody. Uh, we need as much help and any, any help is, is wonderful. And I think this is a wonderful time that we can all get together to really teach the people about Islam. You know, I remember uh, six years, seven years ago, you know, my wife and I, we were in the same situation. You know, we were converts, we were new Muslims, and really, we felt the love from our community in New Jersey. The fact that everybody got together for this wonderful occasion, that we're here to really, you know, see that the matrimonial services in Islam. 
You know, Islam promotes, you know, family, happiness, and uh, alhamdulillah, you know, just it reminds me of uh, when I was in the same situation. So, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and all of us. And thank you for our non-Muslim guests who came. I really appreciate. And uh, I hope you all feel very welcome. And thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillahu sammana. Bismillahu sammana. Bismillahu sammana. على النبي صلينا على النبي صلينا محلى جمال النبي محلى جمال النبي او بالله صلوا على النبي او بالله صلوا على النبي او ما احلى الدب ما احلى قولوا يلا يا شباب هي الدكه الحلويه صلوا على النبي يا رجال او ساكن طوب المحميه يلا يلا يا سجعان يلا يلا يا حلوين يلا يلا يا بطايات لا اله الا الله لا اله الا الله محمد يا كحيل العين محمد يا حبيب الله محمد يا حبيب الله لا اله الا الله